Hello guys, welcome to my channel. You are watching how to fix that. In this video, I am going to show you how to resolve this issue. You are not connected with any network. Let me show you the error. Go to network and internet. Now you can see not connected. You are not connected to any network. So if you are facing the same issue, this video is for you. I will show you step by step how you can resolve this issue easily. Okay. Now first what you can do is you need to click on troubleshoot option here. Since we are on a, this page, we need to click on troubleshoot. If the issue is minor, this option is going to help you troubleshooting. Click on this troubleshoot option and let it detect the problems and wait for the process to complete. This may resolve your issue 20 to 30 percent if you are lucky. Click on all network adapter or Wi-Fi. I am choosing Wi-Fi here. Click on next. Now this is detecting the problems. And this will automatically resolve your issue. Now in my case problem is found. The Wi-Fi adapter is disabled. Try this repair as an administrator. Click on this option. resolving problems now click on apply to fix okay now the troubleshooter has completed and it hasn't helped me so we need to perform the other step so we need to go for a second step we need to make sure that the Wi-Fi services is running inside our windows with the help of services, the services and the, all the options run. Click on here. Search bar, the type as services. Click on services tab here. Once you are a services wave, you need to click on anywhere and type W. Look for WLAN auto config. Okay, this one WLAN auto config. Make sure it is running. Like in my case, it is already running. If your case it is not running, you need to right click on it, then go to properties option. Okay, now startup type should be automatic. Click on automatic option. If the service is stop, like I will stop this service first. If in your case the service is stop you can see make sure first choose this option automatic then click on start service okay now we have started it's running then click on apply option and ok option now we have enabled the wi-fi services make sure it is running okay now it is you can also check wired auto config make sure double click on it Okay, now we have turned on two services wired auto config and VLAN auto config, WLAN auto config. After enabling these two services, you need to go, to go for DNS. Okay, DNS. Okay, you need to first choose the DHCP, make sure it is running. Since we get the IP from the DHCP, make sure it is automatic like this and service is running click on apply option and ok option uh, after dhcp look for dns okay dns client make sure it is already running here you can see the option running okay now we have checked four services here your issue should be fixed you need to restart your system after enabling all the services here make sure you have restarted your system if you are still facing the same issue this issue like this you can see in my case the service has been enabled and wi-fi services has been enabled now without the restart but in your case if not working then you need to restart your system okay 
in the third method we are going to update the wi-fi driver sometime corrupted wi-fi driver can cause this issue press window plus r button together and type at dev mz mt dot msc to open device manager you can directly search on device manager on a search bar okay once you are on a device manager page look for network adapter here okay expand this option and check your wi-fi driver here okay if you are confused about which is the right driver of my wi-fi go to wi-fi icon here then click on this option network and internet setting option okay now click on this option change adapter options okay this is the wi-fi driver you can see here okay let me open it okay this is the wi-fi driver you can see here the wi-fi name and i will disable this driver first to make sure which is the correct driver okay now this driver has been disabled from here you can see this is also has been disabled you can see the down arrow key okay it means that we need to update this driver so first enable this driver okay now we have enabled this driver right click on this driver click on update option we cannot choose this option search automatically since we are not connected with any network you need to click on this browse my computer for driver then choose this one let me pick from a list of available drivers now in my case the two drivers are showing here if your case you are saying two to three drivers you need to make sure you are choosing the latest one okay and then click on next option okay once you click on next option you will get the installing driver the windows has successfully updated your driver click on close option and your issue should be fixed you need to restart your system again you need to restart your system after installing the right driver okay you can connect with any network okay now we have tried three to four method to resolve this issue basic steps we have tried in the fourth method we are going to reset the network this is the advanced step so you can try this if the three steps are not working on your system click on start menu option here then click on this option setting option okay now click on this option network and internet click on this option once you are on this page scroll it down and you can see the option network reset click on this option and click on reset now okay are you sure you want to reset your network so click on yes option okay you will get the prompt you will be restarted your system so make sure your all the by default setting will be enabled by resetting your network driver so your issue will be fixed with the network reset since this is an advanced step your issue is going to fix okay and let me restart my system first and then i will show you the further steps how you can resolve the issue okay i have reset my network so i need to re-enter the password of wi-fi like this okay hit enter click on yes now you can see it is connected now okay this is the advanced step so hope your issue is fixed now if still getting the same issue okay
okay now you can see the vpn is already here it is not disabled so after resetting sometime your vpn is disconnected and your vpn has been reset so you need to make sure you can reset and you can reinstall the all the settings again after resetting the four steps which i have told you are not working on your system it means that the issue could be with your hardware how to check your issue that you have the hardware issue go to cmd option right click on it run as the administrator here okay click on yes option when the prompt opens now you need to make sure that your hardware is okay so how you can check that type here ping okay one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one okay this is the loopback address to check your hardware okay if you are getting the reply without any error means that your hardware is okay and no issue with your hardware okay let's say i disconnect with this one okay and then again ping to this same address okay i'm getting the reply you can see this is the loopback address to check your hardware is okay or not okay after identifying that no issue with your hardware if you are getting the reply if you are not getting the reply you need to replace your wi-fi physical card okay and ic card okay in the command prompt you need to hit these commands you will get all the command in my description box directly you can type these command one by one this is the first command you need to just copy and paste this command this will reset your all the bad settings inside your dns okay hit enter successfully reset winsor catalog you must restart your system in order to complete the reset but not now type this command nist this one this will reset your old ip and existing ip okay you will get the okay okay reply after that after that you need to release your ip okay hit this command copy and paste this command what this command will do this will release your old ip and existing ip which you are using and not connected to internet okay after you hit your ip will be released you need to wait for some time after that you need to request for a new ip this is the new one okay you need to type this command after that i am not showing you my ip will be visible to all that's why i am not hitting the enter okay after you paste this command here hit enter and you will get fresh ip after that hit this command to flush all the dns and cache inside your dns which resolves the name to host and host to ip okay hit this command like this successfully flush the dns resolver cache and exit out from command and restart your system you must restart your system after applying all the methods and hope your issue is fixed if your issue is still not resolved you can reinstall the window or reset your pc so hope this video is helpful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech